Welcome back to the channel. Here we are doing a production vlog. We had a three day school shoot and this is the day one. First day on the job with our brand new car from Salins. So we wanted to see how quick we could do it. I left the wheels on in the car when we packed it up because I wanted to make sure that we can move as fast as possible. And I feel like, you know, that did help. Um, so you can kind of see uh, we had not yet received the uh, cool mouse pad, so I had just grabbed some uh, workout foam pieces and used those. That way we had a little some protection on there. Um, so this is just a, a real time, um, just under two minutes to build this card out. So it does come together pretty quick when you have all the pieces more or less assembled. Uh, we had thrown... Um, the Ronin with the uh, tilter ring uh, inside the cart to keep it safe for travel. So you can see the cart does come together pretty fast. Um, and again, this was the first day on it, so we're still kind of like, oh yeah, how do you put it down? <laughs> but uh, we, we, we got it in there. Um, so at this point, uh, we don't have a production van, so we're still stuffing everything into my CRV, uh, which has a pretty decent cargo capacity for a mid-sized SUV, but, uh, but still it it does not have the amount of space we would like. So, uh, we did subsequently figure out that, um, leaving our little crossbars attached between those two poles is what makes it so hard to get the top uh, on. So we, we did learn eventually not to leave those crossbars on, uh, put those crossbars on after we put the top on and the top goes on way easier. So, um, anyway, so just under two minutes to get that done. Uh, and then at this point we are going to load up the cart. And so, uh, that took us uh, about eight minutes to pull everything out of the car, put everything on the cart. We had cameras to set up. We had, uh, two cameras. Uh, so we're running the FX6 and then also running the FX3 uh, on the Ronin. And so uh, we had tripods, light stands, lenses. Of course, this is you know day one of a three-day production where you bring too much stuff and you kind of figure that out as you go. So we definitely had a little too much stuff the first time around. Uh, we had also our, our new uh, 21 and a half inch OC monitor, uh, which is 1500 nits, so nice and bright. So we enjoyed having that, uh, but we also realized how big and heavy it was. Uh, and I still don't have a case for it, so it's sitting in the cardboard box, which is exciting. Um, so it took us eight minutes to set this up, and we were able to be off and rolling uh, just like that. And first location was outside. We had a little interview set up, which we did. Um, and then we caught a little bit of B-roll uh, for this project. Um, a couple shots. We had uh, the FX6. Um, we've got also the new Blazar Remus anamorphic uh, 1.5 full frame lenses. And so uh, those are what we were shooting this on. Uh, first job again for those lenses. So a lot, lot of first. First job for the OC. Uh, and then also uh, Mike just picked up the Axion Wireless. Um, and then here we are putting the card away and then build it back out because we had another location. Um, here we were doing some interviews and a little bit of B-roll. We had an interview set up. We're actually using the cart as our uh, setup for lights. So that was kind of something we planned ahead. Uh, we would uh, take that cart and we would use the cart to get the uh, lighting. So we had the, the silk uh, on one end of the cart. We had the uh, light on the other end of the cart. And that worked well to give us uh, some nice, um, you know, diffuse light. So... Uh, and then, of course, we've got these cool light poles that are built into the cart, which is what we're using. Uh, those go in all the corner posts. I only grabbed two because I was an idiot and didn't grab four uh, when we picked up the cart in AB. So now I've got to order two more and wait for them to ship in. Um, we had the monitor laid on the cart, uh, you know, just standing up because we didn't have enough poles because uh, we needed one for the light and one for the silk. So uh, definitely, again, going to have more poles so we can get monitor off the cart. That'll free up some space uh, for, for things there on the cart. Uh, but overall, very pleased with how this is going. Um, we had a little battery-powered uh, 60 light. We've got a, a bicolor 300 light shooting through the silk. And that was the, the setup for this one. Uh, so nice and simple. Um, clients helping with the interview and, and also just kind of watching. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's a it's a clean setup, and we're pretty happy with it. So, uh, a couple more pictures there. 
You can see the lights. You can see all the stuff we jam onto this little cart. <laughs> There's always stuff on the cart. Um, another quick setup and uh, kind of a picture of the monitor there. Uh, just a, a last minute interview, which was, you know, it was all right. Uh, it wasn't my favorite of the day, but it was okay. Um, and then we roll the cart out, load it back in the car, head to another location, build the cart out, roll back into another location. Uh, more interviews, more, there's a lot of locations and a lot of moving. Um, so another interview. Um, we actually got lucky with some good natural light here. We had a natural, um, you know, basically a natural soft light and then a natural uh, a neg uh, off the side of that building. So it was kind of one of those, hey, this is beautiful. We don't have to do much. And of course, we come inside where we have to light. Um, so we've got the uh, Godox 60 watt light for a, a backlight rim. And then again, we're punching that 300 through the silk um, on the cart. Um, and then cameras just, you know, on sticks. Um, so yeah, so you can see the light there and all of that. Um, and then we come outside, we silk and neg for the outside interviews. Um, this is where we figured out, uh, we must have picked up a sticker, uh, <laughs> as in a, a goat head in the tire, one of the tires, because when we rolled out for the next day, um, one of the tires was flat and we didn't realize it till we'd already loaded up. Uh, but pretty sure we picked up a goat head right here because it was kind of nasty. And then you can see it sticking off the uh, tires. Shout the dangerousness of this gimbal and monitor flopping like a... And that gimbal and monitor was flopping around when we went off-road. So. But we had a good day and we're getting it dialed in. Thanks for watching.